So, seven months into LPT, after being with Fathom Realty for six years, are we happy? Are we glad we made the change? So let's talk about the difference between LPT and all the other brokerages I've ever been associated with, whether I've worked with them or done a deal on the other side of the table. How's it gone? What do we think about LPT? This is our update video. My name is Keith Campbell of Keith and Sheila Realty Group, powered by LPT Realty. And I wanna share our experiences after joining LPT after seven months. I would just start off by saying this, best move we ever made. Why would I say that? Because the leadership, the culture, the processes, the marketing is just off the charts. Uh, you know, a lot of real estate firms get hyped, especially when they first take off. This real estate company is not like any other real estate company I've ever been involved with or been associated with. I have, uh, I'm a huge believer in leadership from the top to the bottom. What I see with this company is amazing leadership, uh, amazing communication, uh, transparency. When they make mistakes, they admit it. They don't hide it. They don't blame somebody else, which is one of my pet peeves. I cannot stand when people t don't take responsibility for their own mistakes. We all make them. We're all flawed. We all make mistakes. We all drop the ball sometimes. The question is, what do you do after you've dropped the ball? So let's talk a little bit about LPT. The founder CEO, Robert Palmer, I've met him once. I watch him every week on Zoom, just shares incredible knowledge of his success in business, his failures in business, his mistakes in business, his good choices in business. Uh, what I love about LPT, if you're considering making a move from wherever you're at, is this is 100% agent centric. Now look, when you have a company like this, it's growing as fast as it is, offering all the tools it's offering, all the opportunity for revenue share and pre-IPO stock and all those things, you're gonna attract some scumbags. I've already ran into a few. I don't hold that against LPT. They're doing everything they can to make this agent-centric uh, real estate company. That brokerage for life, that's what he says, and I believe that's what he means. That all being said, when you start growing as fast as this real estate company is growing, there's gonna be hiccups. There's gonna be things that happen. I'll be honest with you. The stuff I've seen is so minimal at LPT, it doesn't even register on my radar. I get agents that reach out to me that I've done referral deals with, I've met at conferences, I've done deals with, whatever the case may be. Like, hey, you know, is the honeymoon over? No, it's not over. In fact, it keeps getting better and better. Robert has completely rebranded my mind or rewired my mind to understand that this whole print media that I thought was archaic is anything but, it is sticky. What do I mean by that? I mean, it sticks with people. It's not like a digital impression that lasts a few minutes or hours or days. They can hold that catalog. They can hold that guy. They can hold whatever that print media is in their hand and keep it for a really, really long time. And people do. Even a door hanger. I mean, I can go on and on and on. Print media is second to none in the industry. In fact, a lot of these bigger brokers are trying to copy us, but they miss the principles of the whole box and what each piece has a very significant part to play in how you market and brand a property. We'll dig into that in another video where I'm gonna break the box down and show you, because we've done five boxes now, and uh, I am so impressed. And, uh, and that doesn't even get into the luxury collection when you start selling higher end homes, it goes to a completely another level. But even on your more traditional medium priced homes, in our market, it's about 350, 400,000. This, this print media is amazing. And they do have, and they do have the digital stuff. And they do have the geotagged uh, postcards, which we are really starting to take advantage of, to farm communities, to do, you know, just sold, just listed, open houses, whatever the case may be. So look, we love it. We started out as business builder, 500 per file. About 90 days after that, my wife and I talked, we decided we're going revenue share. And look, we're not recruiters. We've recruited people who have reached out to us. We don't reach out to them. And and we've already got some revenue uh, shared. There's just so many positives. I can't really think of a lot of negatives. We're just gonna continue to enjoy all the tools and technology and culture. And, uh, and it really is a culture, it's a community. And Robert's like started using that term more because I think it's really accurate. 
We have masterminds every week in person in our market and in every market they probably have masterminds as well. We have Zoom calls every Monday and every Friday that are very inspirational, very uh, enlightening on what's going on with interest rates and the Fed rate and, you know, all the stuff that drives interest rates. So we learn a lot about that. We learn about where we're going as a, as a brokerage and it's just great, great communication. And I love that great, great leadership. And we just really look forward to growing our business because of the work we did in September, October, November, December, marketing and branding us. It's paying, it's paying dividends now. And remember in this business, it's always about you're working a day for three, six, nine months, a year from now. And that's why a lot of people fail in this industry is they want the microwave results when it really takes the slow cooker method to grow, the, to grow your business, to be really successful as a realtor, or as a, in our case, a realtor spouse team. If you have any questions, anything I can answer, I'll be happy. I will tell you the blunt truth of what I know. I don't know everything about this brokerage, but I've, I've dug in pretty deep um, and we've hitched our wagon to it. So uh, we've done our due diligence on it. Be happy to answer any questions. If it's not right for you, it's not right for you. But if you have questions or you just wanna like toss it around, I'm available. Give me a call. Text me 830-837-1071. Email me at keithcampbellrealtor at gmail.com. Go to our website and hit the chat button. That's at keithandsheila.com. We're here and we're available. Have a blessed and awesome day. We'll talk to you soon.